Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Did you know that fiber art is good for you? Of course you do. That is why you do it. That is why we all do it. So today we're gonna dive into that just a little bit deeper. Hello, fiber artists of the internet. We know why we do this. It makes us feel so good. There are so many reasons why fiber art is good for you. And I now have written proof backing up my thoughts. So we all know how it is so wonderful to have our hands busy and our mind calm. And to have something beautiful produced after just having this calming, enjoyable time. And so that is very, very good for us. Now I know we all have our own stories from the most minute thing of like, we don't mind waiting for airplanes or at the doctor's office because we have something to knit or work on, to the very far end of that, for many of us, fiber art has got us through something very, very difficult or tragic or something. And we've had that centering beautiful thing to do with our hands to help us get through it. And I have many of my personal stories on how it's helped me through all variety of things. And even so much as when I travel solo, I don't really feel alone because I always have that with me and something to do. It's just a wonderful thing. So what got me thinking about this, I had never heard the term flow state before. And my brother Bart of Scotch Test Dummies was in town visiting a couple years ago. And he says, what do you do for your flow state? And without even knowing what that definition is, I knew it just from the words. And I told him I like to spin fiber. And he didn't know I did that. So he was very interested in what I was doing and I showed him. And, and it really does do that for me. Spinning and knitting take me to that flow state of that I could just keep on doing it because it feels so good. So I wanna share with you when I actually looked up flow state, what it was. And you're gonna just be nodding your head the whole time because this is great. Flow state and its benefits. This is from Headspace. You may have experienced a flow state at some point that sense of fluidity between your body and mind where you are totally absorbed by and deeply focused on something beyond the point of distraction. Time feels like it has slowed down. Your senses are heightened. You are at one with the task at hand as action and awareness sync to create an effortless momentum. Some people describe this feeling as being in the zone. This is the flow state and it's accessible to everyone, whether you're engaged in a physical activity, a creative pursuit, or even a simple day-to-day -day task. So how about that? I get into my flow state as much as I possibly can and that's why, because it feels so great. So I came across an article called The Mental Health Benefits of Knitting by Love Knitting and Mental Health America. It touched on the way knitting mentally and physically helps us. Here are some of the key points it talked about. Knitting lowers blood pressure, reduces depression and anxiety, slows onset of dementia, distraction from chronic pain, an increased sense of well-being, and reduced loneliness and isolation. How about that? True, true, and true. Feels very, very good. They go on to explain those a little further, and then they talk about how knitting promotes social connection. When we knit together and when we knit for others, it really helps with all of the things I just mentioned. So we are not surprised. It's just really fun to hear it and learn about it. As a hand spinner, from the get-go, I knew that it made me feel calm and good, both mentally and just in my body. It is a very calming thing. And so when I was preparing for this show, I wanted to find something on spinning. 
and I came across an article that was perfect. It's called The Mindfulness Through Yarn, The Zen of Hand Spinning by Anne Marrow. And she touches on two things. She touches on nature and balance. And absolutely, I always think of nature when, and especially the times where like I've actually met the sheep like Steele in Montana and I've put my hands in his fur, in his wool, on his back. And then taking one of his fleeces home and working on it the whole time, it was a super natural connection. And it was just a phenomenal feeling that added to the spinning process. And that goes for cotton too. I'm growing my own cotton. And every time I pick a bowl off the plant, I'm thinking, well, thank you God for this wonderful gift. And then spinning it, I'm like, this came from the seed, the earth, the plants, the nature of the sun, everything. And so it's just like, oof, a phenomenal thing to do. And then we take it to spinning. It's like completely holistic. Uh, only understood if you do it. If you're not a spinner and you're on the verge of thinking about learning to spin, give it a go. And like some other things in life, it might be frustrating at first. So what? I've heard do things bad, but just keep doing them and pretty soon you're good. So I would just say that that is a really phenomenal feeling to do a spin. So I would encourage you to go for it. But back to this wonderful article. So yes, nature, it really puts you in touch with nature. But the article said something that was like, what? Like takes you to the next level, right? Uh, let me tell you what she said. It's not just the plant and animal world that contribute to spinning mindfulness. It helps me to remember that the forces that spin the planets are the same ones that hold my yarn together. I was like, oh, oh, that's good. That's really good. So I loved that. Okay, the other thing she talked about was balance. And yes, it balances your body with peace and calmness, but the actual act of it takes balance. So from the treadling and the tension and then the drafting and Getting that all going is all balance. Now, once you've got that going, you can be in a very, very healthy state of mind. And it's really great. So I love that she touched on the balance too. And you know what? When I am doing it, I feel very balanced. I feel very good and calm. If I don't get to do it, I can tell in my day that I have not spun and um, it's almost like something I need to do. So again, I encourage you to give it a try if you haven't. But that's some pretty cool stuff there. Lastly, I have an article titled The 10 Most Important Health Benefits of Yarn Crafting, and that is by Catherine Brasillo. And I'm gonna run through those 10, and some of them are repeats from before, but then I'm gonna take it a little bit further. So we have relieves depression, reduces anxiety, reduces or postpones dementia, builds community, builds self-esteem, helps insomnia, reduces irritability, knitting as prayer, help with grief, and reduces stress. So I was like, yes, every time I read one of those, yes, yes. Now, what was neat though, is that the studies that happened, so the one with relieves depression, they found that the repetition process actually creates serotonin in the body, which is a calming chemical. And we've all felt that it helps us feel calm. I'll share a funny little bit with you. Like we'll be at the airport and when the plane is delayed and my husband is like huffing and puffing and antsy and mad. And um, I'm just like, hmm, got my knitting. You know what I'm talking about? You're calm, you're fine, it's okay. It helps time pass and you feel good. That's just a simple little example. It could be all kinds of examples. Anyway, uh, for the depression, there was also a study done with 3,500 people suffering with depression. And after knitting, they had a feeling of happiness. So there's some proof there for you. And crafting reduces anxiety. 
It has been proven that if a person suffers with social anxiety, but they take knitting or crochet with them to do in that social event, they feel better. I don't have social anxiety, but heck, I take it with me everywhere and it does help me feel great all the time. Also, the counting is a productive outlet and it helps people with obsessive compulsive disorder and eating disorders. They feel better. Okay, so the part with dementia, they found that knitting is neuroprotective and that is why it reduces or staves off dementia. It's a good one. And one last thing, when it said crafting is prayer, I've done prayer shawls. I make them to give away. I give to my church, they pray over them and they give them to people. But it can be its whole thing. You can do the praying over the prayer shawl. Uh, they have prayers online or you can just do your um, good wishful thinking into the shawl that is for others. And um, I found on Noble Knits that they have some free downloadable prayer shawls there. And um, you know, it's great to do. So you have felt the joy and contentment of fiber arts. And now we've talked about some of the proven studies and the things that it actually does. And it's just really cool to know that. Okay, time for some fiber community talk. We are about four months away from Christmas and my friend came up with a great idea for our group of friends to do here. And I wanted to share it with you just in case you and your group of friends wanna do it. She came up with, why don't we do an advent calendar amongst ourselves? So there's a group of four ladies and what we are to do is create six one ounce gifts of fiber that is next to skin soft. And in mid November, we're gonna to get together, disperse them amongst us so that in the month of December, we have something fun to open each day. So that's really exciting. And I'm getting ready to think about what can I do that's really interesting and fun for them because they're all fiber artists that spin, but maybe I can give them something new and unique. So I just want to share it with you. And one more thing, if you're a spindle spinner and you would like to do this, please send me a 10 to 15 second clip, a video clip of you spinning somewhere really cool. And at the end of the year, I will put a montage together and share it with everybody. So, all right, just as a reminder, don't forget about Patreon. Uh, just $3 a month helps with everything to do with this show. You can find that on rehashfiber.com and also merchandise, globe of yarn, other cool stuff also there. And thank you, that really helps. So, all right, everybody, happy, healthful fiber creating and thank you for watching.